English students from all over Australia emailed me about at, at uh, exam time. <laughs> <laughs> May your pen grace the page at the same pace as your brain. May your grey matter from now on no longer be grey. May you mean every single word that you say. And from now on, may writing your lines be the way that you pray. Get up, step up, never let up. Get your set up, set up. Get recording, get stories pouring. Ignoring your calling and calling you boring is boring. You need to be touring. What are you doing? You're basically stewing. No space for daydreaming. No place for that feeling. No place for pacing a building or facing a ceiling. There's no way that it's dealing. Your brain that is stealing, and there will be no change to you, and there will never be any change to that ceiling. I'm basically feeling that art isn't hard. What's hard is your heart, and it starts in the past. But the past is in the past. So love who you are. Pass a rush of blood to your arteries blast, and let the blood rush to your arm, and let your artistry start. May your pen express everything that you've never seen. Especially when you question me. My pencil man, she gets to me, she comes to me and comforts me and takes me out to lunch, you see. We have a cup of coffee for her, I know it, she's on top of me. She's rocking and she's rolling me. We're riding uncontrollably. She likes to switch the roles on me. I think I'm riding with her, but she is riding with me. It's my life as I desire to be. It's right that she's my wife and number two B. May your pen grace the page at the same pace as your brain. May your gray matter from now on no longer be gray. May you mean every single word that you say. And from now on, may writing your lines be the way that you pray. Yeah. Was not the word. Before the word, there was a breath, an open mouth, where chaos regurgitates a snake. They spit a thick oil slick into the abyss, a heaving mass vomited from the mouth of a god. As cosmos hovers beside them, proud of their lover, from the thick mud of miracle, they form cubes and spheres. Chaos and cosmos, with the strength of their love, start creating. Fireflies that glimmer, fire, timber, opposable thumbs and fingers, as many summers as winters, cats, Bengal tigers, rhinos and elephant spiders, the bite of a venomous spider, scorpions, diamond pythons, beetles and insects, Ants in their deep nests, locusts that infest the first woman turned cow dung into incense. Coal turns to diamonds, bones become reminders, memories and inscriptions, Egyptians, Mayans, calendars and astronomy. Scavengers learn geometry. They start pushing the parameters found in the patterns of ecology. Arrows and spears turn to gallows and sneers. Murders in the shadows as open battles appear. Tribes rise and fall. Allies fight the storms. It's divide and conquer or devise and crawl. Pages and pens start making sages and trends. War is waged by invasion through the ages. And then Athenians start building columns. Dragon marble from the bottom to the top of the Acropolis to honor their forgotten gold-plated virgin. Statuettes are placed in their perches. Eternal fires are burned and buying spices from merchants. Cut in pine to make altars. The meat is seasoned and salted. They use mortar and pestle to heal wounds with a poultice. They write on papyrus. Architects and designers measure the height of their marbles with the light of horizons. And so a city is built upon obsidian silk and the mouth of a volcano that won't erupt for a million tilts. A table is built, its chairs and its legs, the timber turned and adjusted with dovetails and pegs. The food is prepared, the wine is poured into terracotta vessels, the divine is called. Six philosophers unite, raising glasses to Dionysus. The meat is cooked in honey, they sprinkle the final spices. Tonight, they'll talk honestly on philosophy and prophecy among them, Plato and Socrates and the playwright 
Aristophanes. They pause for a moment before Socrates speaks, ready to bear witness to what the old sage thinks. His mouth opens with a breath along his tongue as he offers his thoughts on how the universe was born from agape and other kinds of love. Your demon taught me I was enough, taught me all about the ladder of love. First step, eros, then storgi and philoxenia. Fourth step, philathea, then comes philia. Sixth step, pragma, a long, a lasting love. Seventh step, agapi, shine brighter than the sun. I don't think we have to feel eros before we can feel philoxenia and then philia and then philathea. I think it's less like a ladder and more like a wheel where each kind of love is a spoke in that wheel. And each of those loves can lead us outwards where we can connect with the other kinds of love or they can lead us inwards in smoke. The ancient Greeks see staring back at them from the streets protesters and police, the modern citizens of bulletproof vests and...